nice to be going back racing to the States. Brand new circuit that we haven't seen um, before and that's always interesting. This one I think has been designed uh, really quite carefully and with a lot of little witnesses or testaments to lots of other circuits. So there are some really interesting height changes that remind me a little bit of the, uh, the A1 ring. Um, there are some blind apexes which always produce lots of excitement, particularly on the first turn, as we see in India. Uh, there's a sequence of corners that um, look a little bit like the tightening S's of Japan's Suzuka circuit. So for the drivers, uh, I think they've got a real handful uh, on this circuit. We should make some, some really interesting uh, racing. So it's fun to go to somewhere that's new. Um, I don't know Austin particularly, but I'm really excited about going there. Uh, we fly a bit later uh, today, so I'm arriving just in the nick of time. But the team have been out there for a few days now, building the garage, preparing the hospitality, getting the cars uh, ready. And uh, we're taking out some of the last minute performance upgrades as we always do. So yeah, exciting times. Uh, preparing for a new track is pretty tricky, actually. Um, Depending on the kind of access that you get, you, we can build from the plans and everything a, a sort of some form of simulation and we can uh, work out whether it's a circuit that's more like a uh, Monaco or a high downforce circuit or more like Monza, a low downforce circuit or traction limited circuit. So you can, you can figure out from the sort of first principles kind of what the, what the thing is going to be like. But it's not, until you get there and you see finally, you know, what are the curbs like? What's the surface of the tarmac? What's the, you don't really get a sense for the performance. So our, our preparation work in terms of car setup is, is much more challenging. Um, but everybody likes a new circuit and there's always a, a high degree of excitement, not just about the teams in going there, but in, in the local city, in this case, Austin, uh, as they're hosting it. So it should be good. We like meeting the fans wherever we can get close to them. Um, we have these fantastic fans forums. They're always the richest questions that get asked. Actually, I think that the, uh, the fans at these uh, the fan forums ask us some of the most brilliant and diverse questions. But, but certainly it's a very enthusiastic and I've always found a very knowledgeable crowd. When we were going backwards and forwards to Indianapolis, then um, those fans that we, we reached uh, really enjoyed it, really got the sport, understood what it was that we were doing. But clearly there's a rich, tapestry and mix of um, sports and motorsport for them to pick from, and NASCAR, uh, IndyCar, you know, a whole host of, of uh, potential choices. But I will arrive in town and uh, make a good show and yeah, we'll, we'll get close to the fans and have a great time. So uh, Formula One for the American fans, I'm, I'm sure they're familiar, certainly the European fans will be. The top four or five cars are only separated by maybe 0.15% product performance difference. And when you look at the number of variables that are in the car, including climate, fuel, driver, um, weather, uh, all of these things throw a lot into the mix. But it's also really important that on a race by race basis, we continue to take uh, performance upgrades. Um, Formula One is not about being massively defensive, even in the last a couple of races of the year so we expect to be and we will be taking a performance upgrade package to Austin uh, this coming weekend and another one to uh, to Brazil so it's it's flat out all the way uh, as it is for the drivers mm.